Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I just bought this thing. Why won't it crank? It's a brand new supercar. You know what? This thing is a total pile of poo. I'm done. I I'm getting out of this thing. And you know what? I'm going to teach it a lesson. All right. We're beating this thing up. I hate it. This car is just nothing but a pile of poo. Uh, we're just going to break it. This is totally not doing enough damage to this car. You know what? I've got something bigger in the front. All right. I've got my gun. There we go. Put a couple bullet holes in there. This is totally fine. This is still not doing quite enough damage to it. Uh, we're just really blowing out the windows. This is a really strong supercar, by the way. Come on. Why won't you die, car? Oh, there it goes. Oh, that's so much better. All right, just taking out the car. Now it's definitely going to run really good after this, right? So, folks, you're probably wondering, how did I get a hold of a machine gun here in uh, BeamNG Drive, and why is this basically GTA now? Well, this is a new mod. I'm going to flash the creator's name up on the screen. I'll have it linked down in the description. That gives you melee weapons and guns in first-person mode, and we're going to have a whole lot of fun with this. Because what if we run from the police? We can hop out and start firing at them with the machine guns in order to take them out. So very unique mod, pretty easy to actually activate. So what you do here, let's go ahead and climb into our busted car. Uh, wait, does it crank now? Hold on. Uh, it indeed doesn't crank. So yeah, when you get out of the car, you're in your snowman or walking mode. And if you hit escape, you go to vehicle configuration, you'll see a visual mesh. And you can actually change it down uh, to the, uh, the weapons mod. And then if you break it down from here, see, like, I'm in the melee stuff right now. They said the anime sword is actually really OP. Hold on, I want to see this. Uh, does this... Oh, well, I mean, it's not that overpowered. To be honest, we've already kind of destroyed the vehicle. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely a work in progress, but it's really cool to see. But yeah, if you wanted to, uh, say, grab a machine gun, you can go down. And then we'll go down to... I like the invisible ones, because I don't like how the snowman kind of pops through. But you can go to invisible here. And then, yeah, you got your machine gun, and you can change... Uh, like the bullets here. So we go to that and then yeah, it's Q and E to go up and down and then you can start firing at stuff uh, Pretty amazing little mod here So I think we should totally do some police chases with this and if you guys are enjoying beam and G on the channel Be sure to hit that thumbs up button are the cops after us. Yes, they are uh, It would be a shame if we were to crash and have to get out and uh, maybe defend ourselves on foot uh, It's like every day we get a little closer to like a GTA or I actually saw a lot of people in the forums comparing this to uh, Teardown which kind of makes sense too. Uh, this is awesome I would love more first-person mods and comment down below What kind of first-person mods would you guys like to see also? I just probably did like a hundred thousand dollars in damage uh, to this car uh, it's fine though. We've got guns. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, this is incredible. This is like the coolest thing ever on. Light him up. Dude. Okay, this is a really strong machine gun. So definitely the 500 bullet seems to be one of the more intense ones. There's an 800 bullet one, uh, but it says lag warning on it. We will try it here in a bit. Uh, was that it? Oh, did I shoot my car there? Dude, we completely obliterated those cop cars. So another thing I want to point out, supposedly these do work in multiplayer. So there's a chance uh, in one of our next multiplayer videos in Beam MP, you're going to see these. And we could probably think of some pretty insane chases uh, to do. And oh, here comes more cops. We're good. Watch out, loser. I got to think of a, a place where we're going to do a last stand. We could go up to the tower. Uh, that could be a thing. And oh, jeez. Uh, this thing's kind of hard to control. And oh, no, no. Brakes, 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 brakes. Oh! <laughs> uh oh, uh, I think we might be out of commission hall. Let's pull into the neighborhood uh, We might need to duck off in maybe one of these houses. All right, so let's get out of the car uh, I'm a snowman right now. Oh, geez. Okay. Do they know I'm back here? Huh? Uh, I could hear something is it on the other side of this fence hall and let's go back through Oh, I can't hop this fence anymore uh, That should be a first person mod the uh, hopping of fences. I feel like I'm am I down? My crouch, I feel like I'm crouching behind the fence here. It's like I'm hiding. Oh, there they are right there. Hold on, let's go ahead and light them up here. Oh. <laughs> Dude, go for the engine. That thing has been completely obliterated. Okay, I don't think we can jump into AI cars. I really wish that was a thing. It would be kind of cool to be able to hijack cars. Uh, can I get into this? No, I can't. Oh, I think it's still running. Uh, that shouldn't be a thing there. All right, let's go ahead and fire through the engine. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> they said the crosshairs aren't like 100% accurate in these, but, uh, and plus I can really actually tell because like right now, 
It seems like it shoots a little below. Uh, there is nothing left of this cop car. We're gonna pull out a, another melee weapon here. So let's go weapons mod. So you got a crowbar, you got an anime sword, axe, bat, sledgehammer, and I guess like a normal sword. Uh, let's go with the bat real quick. Um, I used to love to use the bat in GTA just to beat up cars. Uh, let's see. Let me hit this car. I mean, this car's already got so much damage. This is kind of pointless. Uh, let's go find another fresh car. Hey, look at this van. Haunt. Eh. Oh, oh, hey, I think the bat's pretty uh, efficient there. We made a pretty good ding in the door. Oh, let's hit this side. Yeah, I'm beating up your vehicle. Now, if we can only get the AI to react to like getting hit, uh, maybe make him flee. Ah, I'm, I'm beating. Oh, I almost got that stuck. I'm hitting the front of your uh, van here. Oh, that was a good ding. Yeah, it's uh, it definitely needs a little bit of work, but this is I mean, you didn't expect this from Beam and G, right? This is a whole ridiculous mod that's been put together, but I really hope the creator continues to uh, do stuff with this. There is the OP 800 bullet gun. I kind of want to try it out. It did say that it was laggy. So, I mean, prepare yourself. It might be a little too much. Uh, hold on, let's go to the 800 bullets. Uh, what does that mean? Does it shoot 800 bullets like a second or something? It's like a minigun? Hold on, here we go. Oh, dear. Oh, okay, on up a little bit. Oh, that's what they mean. Oh, wow. Oh, they're having a police pursuit. Hold on, I'm gonna help the guy. <laughs> oh, jeez. Dude, that's so cool. Oh, and here comes the police van. See, we're helping out fellow uh, fugitives here escape the police. Oh, there's another one down the street. Oh, let's see if we can get the cop lit. Light him up. I think we hit him in the gas tank down there. Dude, this is cool. We can go on like a full-blown rampage here. Look at the amount of damage we did just on this street here. Like, we tore up the back end of that cop car. Definitely uh, pierced the fuel tank. Uh, destroyed this van. This poor police SUV. Got it. Oh, uh, we knocked the camper top off it. Uh, we exploded one car completely. This one's pretty screwed up. Uh, okay, I can see where the 800 might be a little laggy. It's not too bad, though. So I kind of wonder what would this thing do to like something like a big fuel tank or something. So let's head over to the grid map. All right, here we are on the grid map. I have two trailers. One's with diesel, one has petroleum. We've got a big diesel truck here. I tried pulling out the contact mine, but it kept exploding for some reason. So here's a good question. Does stuff explode when you shoot it? Let's go ahead and fire into the diesel here. Let's go boom. So yeah, the 300. I mean, it does pretty much minimal damage. Uh, it might bust out. Yeah, bust out some windows. This is probably one of the more normal machine guns, I would say, as far as damage levels. Uh, but we're not normal here on the channel. We want to go up to... Let's go to the 500 here. Uh, so let's fire through now. Oh, it's pretty satisfying. I feel like it's going right through the grill right now. Oh, there it goes. Uh, hold on. Up, down, up, down. Uh, I might accidentally hit what, the tanker here in a second. Uh, let's shoot those real quick. Uh, this doesn't seem to be going through either one of them, does it? We need an RPG. That would be the icing on the cake. All right, we have to go to the 800 here because that's a thing. So let's go 800. We get a lag warning. All right, let's do 800 on this. There we go. And then 800 on this. Uh, I don't even think we're, we're not even making a ding in it. Okay, so that's definitely not a thing. I bet you the contact mine would actually go off, though. See, you can actually shoot through gas tanks, and you can make them leak. Uh, they don't ignite, though. Uh, so there's definitely no, like, spark element. It's purely destruction. Kind of like the tank round uh, that was in the big tanks that we've tried out. Like, they never actually explode it. And if we could somehow get it to where these things ignite stuff... That would be amazing, even though I don't think uh, other objects can ignite other objects in Beam and G, if that makes sense. So say if you have a car on fire and you run into another car and explode, well, the other car doesn't catch on fire because your your initial car is on fire. Kind of weird. Uh, I think it was pretty well explained in the flamethrower mod that came out a couple of months ago that you couldn't actually light other things on fire. Uh, you can really only destroy them. Out of curiosity, does this truck run? It does. I think it's losing, yeah, it's losing fuel rapidly. Uh, I guess the one tank, yeah, it's still on there, but it's leaking right now. Uh, it's fine. We can just take this over here. Oh, I think we just ran out of fuel. Yep, it is completely dead. I mean, that is pretty cool. That would be a, a really good option for when we're doing multiplayer. Like, go for the fuel tank. 
Uh, that's definitely a thing. This is a lovely mod, by the way. <laughs> 